and apparently a new RAV video. I'll watch it while I fly. Mm -mm -mm. Attention gamers, previously on my hardcore WoW journey and only fangs, I visited the land of the big sexy elves to help an old friend get his pimping business off the ground by trying to cure one of his lazy employees who was also his daughter. Howard and I had a brief breakup where I had a one night stand with a burnt pig named Belly Grub before reuniting with my favorite black swine and letting him get his revenge. We had our first guild meeting to which I still miss those brain cells I lost during that three hour rage elf festival. It was so bad. I entered the deadly forest where a patrolling diabetic elite jizz stain kills dozens of half AFK players every day and I decided that I would be the one to stand up to him. Psych it was all for the clip take notes lazy ho that's how to be a proper hooker and while I promise you'll see the epic battle with the stitch bitch soon enough I had some dangerous matters to attend to before. I first had to find the proverbial Vladimir Putin of the Red Ridge Canyons, euthanize the rabbit and bring its paw back to some bumbling muppet and while this mage wanted help I wanted my glory so my plan was to path through the low level simp bunnies in a way where his younger ass couldn't follow but he arrived in time to ask me to make this assassination into a group project. I remember how I level 27 that gave me the shaft on the beach so I let my people pleasing personality get in the way of glory but I figured I would get an intellect buff out of it only to stand there waiting to be blessed like I was speaking a different fucking language before eventually deeming it a lost cause just confirming that the biggest noobs play mages in this game. True. Anyways the leveling guide that my virgin ass paid money for was now telling me to skip the next quest if I lack confidence and I'm thinking clearly Tommy Salami doesn't read the papers if he thinks that I think I'm a bitch but I quickly learned it's because between the groups and the patrols you can quickly find yourself in a worse spot than a raw cucumber in an so all-female prison in this proof- Before I move on, I'm just curious, who made Rested XP? Tommy Salami is a part of it, right? Like, who the fuck are the others? I have no idea. Tommy Salami, who's actually in the guild. Who else? Tactics codes it? Tactics, Tommy Salami. Damn, we have literally all the rest of the XP devs in the guild. That's kind of funny. Savix? What? Really? Cargos? Okay. Interest. I don't, I don't know. Be the case during one fight. When Tactics Howard wrote the horde guide? Okay. After I told him to come back to me. Deciding to invite the entire neighborhood over to say hey and this was going to be the end I thought. My piece of shit pig was low. I had two on me with a caster coming and there were logistical issues with my escape route, but that's when I remember the wise This is around the time Soda. target dummies are required. <laughs> yep. This Very nice. This time to survive and even though Howard wasn't as lucky, a sexy elf who identifies as a cat agreed to be my interim pet until the battle was over. Needless this is around the time say, I gave I him a bow of searing arrows, Howard, right? But I also knew I was just as much to blame for being a bad trainer. This was where I lost my macro writing virginity, jotting down two <laughs> lines of Elon Musk Excellent. quality code that will one day save me and my raid from Howard's occasional attitude problems. And like a true <laughs> software engineer, I had to test my code. Seer wants that Howard bow. Sendeth. Sure. Howard come backeth. I would I say will to ensure it would work. And after two Hold on, what level is Seer? Like what level is he? Kungus. 36? A code hacker okay. genius. I was ready to fuck up Fangwar. This quest is supposed to be hard, but something about the adrenaline from my near-death experience and the confidence I got from writing code so good it could probably self-drive cars with a few more lines this whole battle was easy breezy beautiful cover girl. But me gracefully moonwalking through content was about to end as my own survival was now going to rely on some random normies I hired off the streets to fight in the Red Ridge War against these trend-taking ogres and considering our first pull was less organized than Asmund Gold's bedroom I had my concerns. The mage was polymorphing targets with 3% health and the warlock was playing his own solo adventure and fearing his mob into other orcs when he wasn't too busy disconnecting from the McDonald's Wi-Fi so let's just say we weren't going to be pushing arena rating with this motley crew. But as a League of Legends player I'm used to dealing with Fangsley. teammates and so I figured Sh I would just Smart doesn't have a guild. to properly lead in a way that Ampi could only dream of. There is actually a war. Numero. There is a war going on between the sweats in my guild and the non-sweats. Like it's starting to get like gang war type shit. It's kind of Buddha versus Ampi, Rav versus all of them are versus Ampi mainly because he's like you know the known sweat. Uno was in the books, and my second task with these twerps was to loot orbs off of the jack. <laughs> They're so mad. Addresses. One, two, three. 
Very but nice. For a lack of better words, shit got real when we entered the castle. Another group was trying to rescue Fiona Slay the Dragon too and I decided to be chivalrous while arranging a safe plan to collude so that everyone would get their nut. This was great until we somehow nabbed the tag and they got pissy and decided to flee the crime scene. What started as a two group raid to kill a single elite mob was now a board certified fuck fest and there were about to be casualties. Oh the shit. Muppet was running away from us and behind walls making any chance Four of HP. a pipe dream. He had two on him with four health when I randomly had a revelation. Target dummies. I pinned that shit like a tail on a donkey watched the focus target of angry orc number four swap to it and I'm proud to say, we all survived the epic shit. Target dummies. Keep. They're busted man, Legend and they're not expensive. The group who abandoned ship is still fleeing like vaginal cowards to this day. Pussy. <laughs> At this point I had to head back to the laggy city because some shit was going down in the stormwind basement and some arrogant douchebag needed help. You probably won't make a difference. Turns out the refugee Defias shit stains from the, the gang war I won in Westfall were captured and being held down there to serve as the presumptuous royal family slaves. You probably won't make a difference. Because they were all white. What? The orders were to what? slaughter these shitters and aside from a slight disagreement on how fast or slow we should be doing it as if my group was a married couple arguing in the bedroom the mission was a great success. I must say after a half hour I hardly expected you to come out. I wanted to tell that one-eyed bastard that it was actually only 23 minutes but after having successfully led two teams through group content I had some words for someone else. Wait what is this? Do you actually think you did like, <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Don't you. I just want to show you something, okay? What, you're up against. what the fuck? Now for those of you non male <laughs> players, his response in the form of a flex. Oh my god. Like a proud badge of unintentional Do you have all top parses? It was also pretty much the equivalent of showing that he scored a 1600 on his SATs and effectively no one in the world has done better. But what he didn't know was what he was up against. Dude, yo, Rav is, uh, what the fuck? This guy Rav is juiced. That's right, a blushing hunter who may. Or Damn, wait, wait. So he has the top that. parses in Molten Core and Hunter? Like, period? On every boss? Oh my god. I mean, it's. it's The problem, not rag, You the problem is you can no longer catch up either. Because, like, I feel like these are all. No one actually good plays non hardcore anymore. That's the truth. And you can get better parses if your entire raid is really good. Because you kill the boss in like 15 seconds. Or less. Right? So you can't pass this anymore. You can't. Even being the best player in the world and doing a better rotate, you can't. Now for those Look at the kill times. 14 seconds. 27. 16. 12 seconds is how long this boss took. So you, like, his entire group was crazy. Non-WoW players, his response in the form of a flex was not only like repping a proud badge of unintentional celibacy, but it was also pretty much the equivalent of showing that he scored a 1600 on his SATs and effectively you can't, no one you can't out -parse this. done better. But what he didn't know was what he was up against. Dude, yo, Rav is, uh, what the fuck? This guy Rav is Shit. juiced. That's right, a blushing hunter who may or Rav may is not about to top parse to BFD, to though. Melee hunter for half the dungeon. To which I still top charts bitch, so all I'm saying is it's going to be lonely at the top, for me. Meanwhile, my other guildies were throwing a raging house party in Goldshire when Papa Soda was out of town and considering the amount of drugs and sex what that the was taking place, some of the officers were not happy. We are in OnlyFans, man. Take some pride in that. And as a role model in this guild, I just want to say I don't condone this partying behavior and I'm disappointed in anyone who was there instead of leveling. And seeing how our fearless leader knew I was grinding my short dwarf dick off instead of partying, he met me deep oh, in the shit. marshes and gave me a gift. Damn. I didn't know how to thank him and all I could think of was to show him that when he said, Target dummies are required. I listened. Now since I know my audience isn't all wow geeks let me explain the reason why I was jizzing my pants over this item. For starters it was purple quality which outside of some rare super virginity scenarios yeah. is the best type of item you can get in the game and second it was a weapon. The combination of these two things meant that and it has a scope on it. a gold to a local bow connoisseur and I'd be 1% closer to getting my mount. What?
Farewell. It was also around this time that I hit level 30. This meant I could meet up with he a bought it back. male elf sex doll right? in the middle of bumfuck Ashenvale to learn if he an actually ability called Feign Death. And the best way I can describe why this is valuable is that I <laughs> right? can now tell a diabetic <laughs> right? deformed penguin that his chick has a fatty and then be like op just kidding homie and he won't want to beat me up anymore. If people want to ignore Howard and his contributions I can now let them hit voicemail and say you will be dealing with my pig from now on. Anyways I had one final piece of business in this fantasy land forest and that was to finally help my homeboy cure his daughter slash stripper lover of her aids. He claimed this was finally the medicinal fix to her whoring around. I wasn't impressed but I couldn't stay any longer as I had to meet up with a few guildies for an organized coup against the civilized pigs in the razor fen crawl but as we were waiting I was presented with a proposal. A duel to the death. Guildy versus Guildy. Loser what? will have to delete their character. Wait, what? Are strictly prohibited. To finally help my homeboy cure his daughter slash stripper lover of her aids, he claimed this was finally the medicinal fix to her whoring around. Who did he fucking mock her I wasn't impressed, but I couldn't stay any longer as I had to meet up with a few guildies for an organized coup against the civilized pigs in the razor fen crawl, but as we were waiting, I was presented with a proposal. Bulk, bulk SZN. Who the fuck is this? I mean, they're dead at this point because I know Rav is still alive. So, who the fuck is that? A duel to the death. Guilty versus guilty. Loser will have to delete their character. These are strictly prohibited in the guild as the one and only time this happened before. Dad's reaction went something like this. You're both at fault. You are both at fault. I do not give up. Why? Oh God! Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm and after sinking over 50 hours of game time into this character, there was only one thing to do. No. It's gonna be a fake duel. It's not a real duel. I see the flag. It's not a real duel, right? Turn, turn your camera. It's just for clips or for. I'm trying to see the flag. Is that? Oh my God! I don't think it's a Magara. It's a fake. It's not a... Oh, God. Faint death. Okay. <laughs> so... Bomb? Grenade? Yep. Some may call it the start of a villain arc. Others may say it was heartless, but that would but everyone will now. Wait, they're actually dead. Breath. Oh no, they're slash laying down. Okay. Okay, they didn't actually mock Holy fuck, I would have lost it.